Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we'll be discussing how you can identify different types of pepper plants. So we've had this question enough times that I think it warrants a video. You know, people have a pepper plant that they were gifted or maybe they lost their seed packet or they forgot to label their plant. So what this video is not is how to identify a specific pepper cultivar, like a specific variety of pepper just by looking at it. That's basically impossible. We get those questions all the time. Which pepper is this? We can't really tell you just by looking at it. The only way to know for sure is to know where the plant or the seeds came from. But we can help you do some detective work and sort of narrow down your search for which variety it may be. And we're gonna basically focus on the different species of peppers and the unique traits that each has. Before we get into it, check out our ebook, Growing Perfect Peppers. It's all about growing peppers from seed to harvest, like these plants you see beside me. We grow lots of peppers every year, and in the book we share our entire process of growing. Check it out in the description below. Okay, so let's talk about identifying peppers. I have four different pepper plants beside me here. Each of them is from a different species, and I wanna start by talking about the leaves. And chances are you're trying to identify either a chinense or an annuum species plant. Those are by far the two most popular species of pepper. And so we'll be talking about the differences between those a lot. Within each species, there are of course differences between one variety and another, but we're gonna talk about sort of the typical appearance of each species. So chinense species plants, I have one here, tend to have these big, broad leaves like you see here this wider sort of appearance like this. And you'll especially see these bigger leaves early on in the growth when the plants are younger. Compare this broad leaf to this leaf here, which is on an annuum species plant. It's much slimmer, sort of longer, and the leaves sort of have a more flat appearance to them. Whereas the Chinen species is more rounded. The leaves of Bacatum species plants are a little bit harder to distinguish. They sort of are slimmer and slender like annuum species, but they tend to have a few more veins on the leaves. So the leaves look a little more complex, if that makes sense. But there's a much easier way to identify a Bacatum plant, which we'll get to soon. Lastly, this is a pubescent species plant. You can see it's definitely a strange plant compared to the others here. It's sort of growing out in this outward spidering fashion, sort of like a vine or a creeping plant. And the leaves of the pubescent species plants have these trichomes or hairs. That's where the name of the species comes from. You'll see hairiness sort of all over these plants from the leaves to the stems. And these are also known as ricotto peppers. So if you have a younger plant that doesn't yet have flowers or fruits, comparing the leaves can sort of help you narrow down what species the plant probably comes from. If you do have some flowers on your plants, there are a couple of distinguishing traits from some of the species. The first I wanna talk about is Bacatum. Bacatum flowers always have these yellowish, whitish dots on the flower petals or the flower corolla. And every variety in the Bacatum species, as far as I know, has this characteristic. So if you see this on your flowers, it's most likely that you have a Bacatum plant. Another less common trait that your flowers may show you is purpling. If the flowers are purple, they're most likely from the annuum species, but they may also be from the pubescent species. But many of the annuum varieties will have purple flowers, especially the purple type peppers like the Buena Mulata or any dark foliage varieties like the Black Pearl that we grew last year. Otherwise, the flowers do tend to just be white. Most of the Chinen species peppers like the Carolina Reaper and the ghost pepper and habaneros, they all just have plain white flowers. And many of the standard annuum species plants also just have white flowers. So at that point, you're gonna to need to wait for your plant to start producing fruits for you so you can start to assess the appearance of the fruits. Now, before I start getting into the appearance of peppers, just because it's so broad and there are so many traits, I wanted to mention this book that we've had for a few years now. And it's really come in handy when we've tried to identify peppers that we weren't able to identify. This is called The Field Guide to Peppers by Dave Dewitt and Janie Lamson. And there's about 400 pepper varieties in here with a little description and a picture of the pepper variety and a little bit of information about where it comes from and its characteristics. I'll leave a link down below where you can get the book. And if you love peppers, it's just a great book to have on the shelf. Okay, so let's talk about appearance and characteristics of the fruits. Many pepper varieties are actually named for their appearance or their shape, such as the Brazilian starfish or the infamous Peter pepper and countless others. So if your pepper sort of reminds you of something, you may start there, do a search for the shape that it reminds you of and you may end up finding the variety. 
But like I said, there are so many different shapes from the tiny berry-like ahi charapitas to the gigantic bell pepper and so many in between that you're really gonna need to hone in on specific traits that you see on your peppers. One such trait is wrinkled skin. It's most common that you're gonna see really wrinkly skin on chinen species plants like the ghost pepper and the brain strain is a really wrinkly variety. That characteristic tends to be more common in those chinen species plants, but it has sort of crossed over into the annuum species. So again, it's not going to give you a perfect answer, but it may help you hone in if you see that trait. If your peppers are very smooth, on the other hand, it's probably from the annuum species or the bacatum species. Just think about the bell pepper and pobano peppers or the ahi amarillo from the bacatum species is another very smooth pepper. Now the final color when your peppers are fully ripened isn't really a great trait to focus on because there are so many different colors in all of the different species. But if your peppers start off as purple, you can be pretty sure that it's part of the annuum species or the chinen species. Maybe your peppers have lots of cracking on them. There are some varieties that are known to have this, so if you start there, you might find something. Probably one of the best traits to focus on is the flavor and the aroma of the peppers. Annuum species tend to have a fresh sort of vegetal and sweet aroma and taste, whereas Chinen species plants will have that classic floral aroma and taste, and a lot of people almost describe it as potpourri-like. It's very flowery and aromatic. Bacatum peppers have a fresh taste as well, but it's a little more fruity than the annuum species. You kind of just have to try it to know what it tastes like. It's hard to describe a flavor or an aroma, but I will say that once you do try them, they're very distinct from each other and it will help you hone in on what you've got. Another trait you can focus on is the growth pattern. As you can see, the annuum plant here is sort of tall and slender, and it's a little more sparse when it comes to foliage, whereas the chinens plants tend to grow bushy and wide, full of foliage with a large canopy of leaves overhead. And this is really typical of an annuum plant. This is like your standard annuum plant right here. It just looks exactly like a bell pepper plant would look with the exception of maybe the final height or the size of the leaves. Again, that's not a guarantee. There are annuum species plants that grow more bushy and have smaller leaves and different shaped leaves. But as a general rule, annuum plants will have this appearance. The last trait you might be seeing in your plant is upright growth. And by that, I mean that the peppers stick straight up. They grow vertically toward the sky rather than hanging down below the plant. And if you do see this, it's pretty obvious that it's either an annuum plant or a frutescent species plant. All frutescent species plants, as far as I know, grow upright in that way. If there's any chance that it's a frutescence, then that would verify it. But there are a lot of annuum varieties as well, such as the Santaka pepper and the Thai chilies. But again, there are some Chinens varieties and some Bacatum varieties that grow upright, so it's not a guarantee. It might just help you hone in. And lastly, I wanted to circle back to the Capsicum pubescent species, which has a lot of unique traits from the hairy leaves to the purple flowers to the black seeds inside of the pods. That's the easiest way to distinguish the pubescent species from any of the other domesticated varieties. If your plant has black seeds in the pods, then you know you have a pubescent plant. So there's a lot more I could talk about, but as you can see, peppers are very diverse, even within the same species. So I think the best way to really get used to identifying different pepper plants is to just grow a greater variety of them. Every year we learn something new about pepper plants and it's so much fun and it helps us help other people identify their plants as well. So I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Let us know in the comments below what other tactics you use to help identify unknown plants. And if you have a mystery plant of your own this year, feel free to leave some information about it in the comments and maybe someone can help you out. Thanks for watching Pepper Geek and I'll see you next time.